Hi, I'm Esperanza, a 13-year-old girl that lived in Mexico before my papa died. After that, it was me, my mama, and my abuelita. I was really upset, but not too long later, something even more upsetting happened. My uncle came and tried to blackmail my mom into marrying him, but she thankfully said no. He got she got really angry and upset. Then the next day, after I went to sleep that night, I wake up, my mom screaming, Wake up! And the house was on fire. I was scared. I looked around my room and grabbed something to spare. I ran down the stairs with a wet rag my, mo- my mama got me from the bathroom. I got outside and someone and watched as the flames destroyed our house. Someone put a blanket on me. I was confused. I didn't know if I was cold or if I was hot. I didn't know what I was. Then someone realized Abuelita was missing and still in the house. Miguel, a 16-year-old boy that worked at my, as my servant and dad was friends with my mom, ran into the house and came out with Abuelita. Then, but his shirt was on fire, so his dad tackled him to the ground and rolled him over and over until the flames went out. After that, I find myself in one of the servants' house and Abuelita hurt and sitting in uncomfortable silence because there was nothing to talk about. Then it was morning and I didn't like that so much because my uncles came again and threatened my mom that nothing would happen to the servant if mama married him. But if she didn't, something could have could happen to them. So mama said yes to the marriage. I felt sick to my stomach. But what me and my uncle didn't know was mama had a plan. Mama told me about the plan and that night we followed through with the plan, which was to run away to LA with Miguel and his father so we can live freely like we should in our life. Then we had to leave our bolita behind. It made me really upset. So after that night, we got on many, many trains. And then on one train, I met Isabel and her family. She was, she was really nice, and I kind of acted a little mean around her. After a little more of a ride, two girls walked up to the train. One girl got in the train. Her name was Maria. We introduced her ourselves and talked a little bit. Then she started to say some really hurtful and mean things about my papa and his death. It made me want to cry, but after a while, I sucked it up and we waited in the train in our uncomfortable ways because of Marta. From that moment on, I knew I hated Marta's guts. After a while, we got to the cabins. I looked around as I saw people working and as they were filthy and disgusting. It wasn't what I was used to because I wasn't used to all this hard work, but I was okay with it. We got out of the train, and uh, and then we went to go look at our cabins. Isabel gave me a tour of the cabins. I thought they were okay. I mean, it wasn't what I was used to because I was used to living in this huge mansion. But it's fine. Then Isabel points to this tiny, tiny area by the cabins. I look at her in disgust. What are those? She says, those are the bathrooms. And then I look at her in even more disgust. She tells me that we're lucky because in some places you have to use the restroom in ditches. I 
was disgusting. 